Hello, my name is Lawrence Gold and I'm the developer of Somatics on the Web. I'm making this video to give you a bit of insight into how I operate in creating Somatics on the Web and on developing and presenting the methods of clinical somatic education. The first thing is that my involvement in this work came out of my own personal need. I had certain injuries this dates back around 37 years and the methods available to me through standard medical treatment proved to be ineffectual. In particular I had a hand and wrist injury which prevented me from holding anything in my right hand and later on I had conditions of sciatica, chronic back pain and back tension, whiplash injuries, and the consequences of a fall from a second story balcony. All of these incidents produced effects in me that turned out to be not really medical conditions but conditioning problems resulting from the shock of the injuries or the conditions that led to the condition of back stress that I had. What I found was that I was able to dissolve the lingering effects of these conditions through an internalized learning process. The learning being not mental learning, but actually the learning of sensation and movement involving the areas in myself that had been affected. So that gives you something of the ground of being from which I come in creating somatics on the web. The Somatics on the Web consists of articles, video, audio instructional programs, mm, sound bites, various forms of exposure to the field of clinical somatic education, which I didn't invent. I'm actually a student of a number of different teachers over time. And in the course of my involvement, I came to understand the processes involved in somatic education at a depth that enabled me to extend the teachings that I had received. So on this website what you see is the result of a very personal involvement in the field of somatics. Now somatics is an interesting word because it sounds like semantics and it sounds something like somnolescence, and so people commonly think when I say somatics, I mean something to do with either sleep or with language. So I'll say a few words on that, just a few. The first thing is, in a certain sense, somatics is about sleep, but not of the kind you do in bed with a pillow. It's more like the going to sleep to our own internal sensations, and falling asleep to the consequences of injury, which are always forms of heightened tension, generally a pulling away from the direction of injury, or in the case of stress, a systemic tightening up, either in the movement of drive, which is an action pattern that involves movement into experience and involves the muscles of the back of the body in particular tied in with a certain neuromuscular reaction called Landau reaction and it's this heightened tension that's uh, responsible for chronic back trouble, headaches, tight shoulders, tight hamstrings, sciatica and other kinds of conditions. The other action pattern is the one associated with shrinking away from or closing up to experience and it's what you'll have seen or felt when you have um, heard a door slam and seen somebody or yourself cringe and kind of crunch down. This is called startle reflex and startle reflex is uh, associated with such things as breathing difficulties, digestive difficulties, the formation of dowager's hump, neck pain, head down and forward position, the general pattern of posture that we associate with aging, which is the stooped posture. And there's a third reflex pattern, which is the action pattern that we go into reflexively when we pull away from injury, which is called trauma reflex. And whenever you've experienced an injury, you may have noticed the desire and urge 
to pull in the injured part to protect it. And this reflex pattern commonly becomes habituated, that is, quasi-permanent. And people go through life accumulating injuries and tension patterns, and they get tighter and stiffer and more awkward, and they think that has to do with aging. And it doesn't. It has to do with the accumulated effects of those reflexes of injury and stress. Uh, a fourth origin of tension is that of nervous tension, which is primarily emotional in nature, and that shows up in various idiosyncratic ways. But the point of all of this is that we go to sleep to all of these reaction patterns. We don't really feel them after a certain point. They just become who we are, and we accumulate them. So in that sense, we have gone to sleep, and that's the sense in which you might say that somatics has to do with sleep. The other aspect, semantics, has to do with language. And in the case of most people, we learn a vocabulary of movements according to needs, so that the activities in which we participate in life, whether it be something as simple as walking or riding a bicycle, or the more skilled movements of athletics, perhaps, or performing a musical instrument, or of even wielding a knife in the kitchen, cutting vegetables efficiently. These are a vocabulary of movement that develop at need, and so we tend to accumulate what we need and no more. And as a consequence, we go through life repeating those same action patterns, and we become more and more ingrained in them, and we take the shape or posture involved in those action patterns. And that shows up as overuse injuries and things like carpal tunnel syndrome and foot pain and knee pain, shoulder pain. These are all the consequence of movement action patterns becoming habituated by repetitive action. We learn those movements and then our brain learns them so well that we don't need to do them voluntarily any longer. They happen automatically and then we become trapped in them and we get stuck in that limited vocabulary of movement. And what relevance does somatics have to that? Well, somatics is about developing what in education they call the well-rounded individual. That we have good coordination and good integration of movement generally in all directions, front, back, side to side, twisting and expansion and contraction, as in breathing. So, somatics increases our vocabulary of movements. And as I mentioned at the beginning, I came in as a client about 37 or 38 years ago. And I have applied the principles of this work to injuries that I have acquired over time and to my own conditions. And in fact, many of the programs that I developed and published come out of my own problem solving. So that's all I'm going to say for this segment, and we'll pick up on the next segment.